Good morning, Weehawken High School. It's Mr. DeStefano. Today's Tuesday, March 31st, and it's the end of March, so you know what that means. We're going to have our props assembly. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do this in front of an auditorium full of people right now, so we're going to do it virtually. It's actually a little bit more nerve-wracking for me to do this than to present in front of 550 people. Um, let's go over the acronym PROPS once again before we get into our individual winners. Uh, the P stands for positive. At this time you might be feeling like there's not a lot of positive in the world. Uh, you need to turn off the news. You need to get away from the things that might be making you anxious right now. Try to look at the little silver linings of this experience, which I'll get into in a minute. The R stands for respectful. Uh, when you're doing a Google Hangout session with your teachers and classmates or you're on Zoom, please be mindful that you should still follow your classroom protocols and be respectful of your teacher uh, and your classmates. Your teachers are putting in a tremendous amount of effort. Um, they're going through this for the first time just like you are, but many of them are working just as hard or if not harder than if they were in the classroom. And also be respectful of your family. I know this might be a tough time where you're, you're stuck in the house together. You might be feeling like, oh, I, I got to get away from them. Everybody's driving me crazy. Uh, that's where we get into the letter O, which stands for optimistic. Think about the good things. If you're home right now and you have your health, you're healthy, you're getting some time to rest and relax, you're getting some time with family that you may have never got without this opportunity. The P stands for prepared. Please be prepared for class like you always would be. This virtual learning experience is actually something that's going to help prepare you for college, where many of your classes are going to be hybrid or fully online, and you're going to have to set your pace and meet your deadlines without a teacher breathing down your neck every moment. And the S stands for skillful. This is a time for you to work on skills. Ask your teachers if you need extra help. Uh, continue to practice. Do as much as you can on your own and you may surprise yourself. All right, now we're gonna get into our individual winners. First, I'd like to get to seventh grade. Can I have the envelope for the seventh grade winner, Ariana? Thank you. All right, for seventh grade, our winner is Hugo Holland. Congratulations, Hugo. The Stefano family is clapping for you. For eighth grade, We have Marissa Norshani. Congratulations, Marissa. Your teachers have recognized you for great performance in March. For ninth grade, we have Brian Fanna. Congratulations, Brian. Tenth grade. Thank you. For 10th grade, we have Juan Jose Liberato. Outstanding. For grade 11, we have Tristan Fitzgerald. Good job, Tristan. For 12th grade, We have Ashley Tomby. Great job, Ashley. And our Teacher of the Month for the month of March. Is Ziamara Nigren. Outstanding, Miss Nigren. Thank you. I'd like to thank my helper, Ariana. Say hello. Hello. And as we go into this time in April. Um, just do your best to continue your studies. Uh, we're trying to deliver you the best instruction we can. You can always reach out to your guidance counselors, your teachers, or anyone on the administrative team. Even if, you know, this time of being isolated has you down a little bit, uh, reach out to one of us and we'll try to talk you through it. All right? Thank you very much, Weehawken. Have a great day. Say bye. Bye.